Wait up. Hitting you in the face? Huh? Is that hitting you in the face? No, man, I'm good. Looking pretty good. It's gonna look real good here in a minute, boys. A little epoxy primer on there. We'll do the body work after we get that on. I'm gonna go over the firewall. We ran out of sandpaper. We still need to strip the roof, but we want to get some epoxy on it to get it stabilized so if it rains or 
the Florida moisture gets to it, it's protected. So we're going to put a good coat of epoxy primer on there, and we'll be able to do our body work over the top of that. And we'll be able to weld our patches in as we need them. We've got some cheap metal. So, patches, I don't know where it's at. It's behind the cup. We've got a few little rust spots to fix. I think there's one there. On the doors, in the back of the pad corner. Yep. But not too bad, really. Not look too bad. It's going to look like new money here in a minute. Breaking out the Eastwood gun. Yeah, buddy. You want the fans off? No, I just pointed away from the truck. There you go, perfect. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's nice.
All right guys, we're getting closer. It's a couple days later, I came back out here just to clean up a little bit and kind of put a game plan together for the week ahead. There's still a ton of work to do and I'm not sure if Darren's gonna be able to get back out here this week, uh, this coming week. But if he does, that's awesome. If not, I'm just gonna keep moving forward with stuff that I can do. I'm still considering pulling out the steering wheel and the steering column and the dash and all this stuff so that we can get even deeper into the restoration. What do you guys think about that? Should we just leave it covered up, put in the floors, you know, put on some rust uh, converter in the areas that we, it's hard to get to, sand and paint, blast, everything that we can and start putting it back together. I, it's not a concourse restoration. I don't want to spend a whole ton of money and time on it, but I want to make it as good as we can uh, for a daily farm truck, daily driver, whatever. It's, it's a learning process. So yeah, you know, maybe we could have used a, a better donor, but you know, every truck has its issues. You don't really know until you start digging into it. The floors, it's a pretty common issue. Um, but Darren was, and my brother Tom was saying that this is, you know, this is pretty good. This whole area right here is not as bad as they thought. So that's awesome where the window goes. Could be worse. The roof has some issues, but, you know, we're going to fill that in and get it sanded down so it doesn't leak. There's a lot of little dents and stuff here. This is where they had different mirrors over the years and created some holes. If you watched that video where Roy came out, he filled these holes with uh, tiger hair and some Bondo, showing some old school uh, economical ways to get stuff done. But we decided to go ahead and take it all back to metal and get it as clean as possible so that we can do the best job possible without going way over budget. We're just, uh, we're trying to get it you know, a nice, nice job, but at the same time, not spend too much time and money because everything is time and money <laughs> and skill. Obviously, you got to have experience. Uh, so that's why I'm bringing in Darren. He can do anything. He can rebuild a transmission. He can rebuild engines. He can do body work and paint. He's a really smart guy and very, very experienced and talented. So i uh very fortunate to have him as a friend and have him out here helping me. Um, could I do it myself? Sure. I could watch YouTube videos. There's a lot of great information on YouTube and you can pick up and learn from people sharing their information. That's what's amazing about YouTube. Um, but it is nice to have somebody here kind of guiding you and showing you and helping you, uh, through the process. So 
Darren, I appreciate it, buddy. And I appreciate all you guys supporting and being there, watching the videos and supporting the channel. That's a huge help <laughs> to help uh, this build move forward. Uh, it's, you guys leaving comments, hitting the like button and making sure you're subscribed and watching the videos. That's, that is a, uh, just an amazing motivator to me guys. So keep it up. Even if you just say, you know, thumbs up and looks great, keep up the good work. Or if you've got some tips and tricks and, and advice, uh, keep it coming. I appreciate it. So I'm out here. Sometimes I like to just come out here and get organized. Um, I like to work in an organized space as much as possible. So organized and clean. So I'll sweep up and blow and, you know, I'll sweep and use the blower and try to organize all these parts. So that's what I'm doing out here today. I'm going to organize these parts, kind of make a mental note in my brain and also take pictures and videos of everything. So that hopefully when we go to put it back together, we'll have a reference of where everything goes. The good thing is these trucks are extremely popular. They made a ton of them and a lot, a lot of people have done restorations on them. So there's tons of reference material out there, you know, just even on YouTube, like I'm sure if you just search, you know, 1970s Ford window regulator, there'll be someone you showing you how to take it out and how to put it in and stuff like that. So, I don't think we'll have an issue putting this stuff back in. Um, it's all pretty straightforward. Sure, we're gonna have some issues and some bugs to work out, but we'll get through it. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think about the build and um, if you have any advice, any comments, keep them coming. And I'm pretty sure we're going to just stay with the original blue. I think it's going to be awesome on this truck. If you if you look at the dash, you know, this is what it's going to look like pretty much. It'll probably be a little shinier than that because that hasn't been cleaned or buffed. But I was even thinking about keeping the dash, the original paint. And paint everything else except for the dash. Cover that up and, and be like, yep, that's the original factory paint. And then try to match it as best we can. Let me know what you think about that. And also on the bed, I'm hoping Darren will let me, let me do the bed. Let me sand it and prep it and paint it. That would be really cool. So I'm hoping I can learn from him on this. And then I can come out here one week and you know, every day just sand it and get all this stuff off of it and then prime it and then start doing the body work, filling in some of these holes. Hopefully by the time we're done with the cab, I will have learned enough from him to where I can do the bed myself. I mean, if he wants to come out and help, that's awesome. But I'd like to be able to say, yeah, I did the bed. <laughs> That'd be really cool. And you know, I might need some help when it comes to the actual paint, the final paint job, because um, that's going to take some skill. But I think I could sand it down and put the primer on it. It'll be a good learning experience. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully by the time we're done with this, I'll be like, okay, I have a somewhat of a clue on how I can apply those skills to the bed. That would be cool. Darren, what do you think about that? Guys, what do you think about that? So, lots to do, lots and lots to do, guys. And I'm also doing stuff around the shop, like trying to hook up uh, some new air hoses and hook up, you know, filters and do stuff like that. So, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. And I was thinking about starting another channel let me know what you guys think about this i'm probably going to do it in the next week or two i was thinking about having another channel that is like ct daily uploads so it would be stuff where kind of like what i'm doing right now i'm doing like a shop update 
but the videos, I try to keep them around 10 minutes long, 15 minutes long, try to keep them short, but it could be anything from, you know, maintenance on the air compressor or a review on the sandblaster or just some behind the scenes updates on what's happening, you know, in the shop and asking you guys for feedback, you know, it could be a, a, a really cool way for us to connect and for you guys to share uh, your knowledge and skills and thoughts and on a daily, uh, you know, on a daily schedule, maybe, you, you know, so let me know what you guys think about that because I'm at, I, honestly, when I guy when you guys, <laughs> honestly, when I ask you guys questions, I'm sincerely asking, you know, for your help. Sure, I could just go to Google and Google stuff uh, and and try to figure stuff out. But when you guys say, hey, you know, try uh, LMC or Rock Auto or, you know, energy suspension parts, when you guys are throwing out nut names and links and, uh, hey, try this and try that, try this tip and that tip and how the process is. And even if you don't really know, you know, anything and you're kind of learning as I go and learning as we go, um, you can still be a part of the conversation, you know, like, hey, guys, thanks. I'm I'm working on a similar project and uh, that's a huge help. I'm just rambling on, but uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you, guys. It's it's a huge motivator when you guys are engaged in the videos with the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed and make sure you've got the bell on so you see the uh, notifications. Um, also, this build is going to have some days where I'm not really going to be able to do stuff on it or maybe I'm going to take a break for a couple days just to think about stuff you know sometimes you just need to step back from a project even if it's just for a day or two and be like okay how are we going to move forward um so that being said I might be throwing in some other projects not complete restoration projects but just like hey let's see if we can get the uh imperial open we can't even get the doors open on this thing so uh you know if i'm out here with my brother tom one day could happen maybe this week maybe next week whatever we're still trying to figure out how to get into this thing so if you guys have had that issue uh you know we picked this up last year and the owner had let it sit outside for 20 or 30 years or however long it's been it's been a long time um and he so all the locks seized on it and he couldn't get into it when we went to go pick it up. He broke this trying to get into it. Uh, the previous owner did. And he's got this door pried open halfway. And the, the locks are all seized. The locking mechanism, mechanisms are all seized on it. So we're trying to figure out how to get into it. <laughs> so that might be a video. You know, I might just do some, some random stuff on the side to give my mind a break from the dragon because it's going to be a long ongoing process we're not going to give up on it don't don't think that this is this is the main project right now but uh if you, you could imagine the uh you know trying to figure out where to get the parts and making sure you're ordering the correct parts and i'm even trying to get some sponsors to help pay for this stuff because i'm not rich i don't have a lot of money right now uh believe it or not i'm actually uh unemployed i'm making money on youtube but you know the job i had last year was discontinued because of uh the virus but um but i'm doing okay i'm doing okay my wife's doing some stuff part-time and i'm doing youtube and you know if it gets bad enough i'll go out in there and get a, another job doing something I can do anything so I'm not worried about that the other thing I'd like to do is uh, 
get a like a pop-up tent shade cover and bring it out here and hang it up so we can possibly blast some of the areas that we can't get to i also was thinking about running a hose way out there and seeing if we could blast it out there away from the shop because that dust gets everywhere and i'm trying to keep the dust out of the shop um and there was a lot of dust coming off the truck when we were sanding it and we should have had our mask on that first day uh the second day we i ended up wearing mine and uh, i think darren put his on too at some point but yeah wear your mask guys wear your safety goggles ear protection um very important but yeah it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good this is nice right here so this is where Darren hit it with, uh, I think he started with 80 grit, got the paint off, got it down to metal, and then he moved to 180, I think he said. And it looks, it looks awesome. It looks really nice. There's some, you know, some pitting here. Where the dude hung his arm out the window all sweaty and nasty and is arm sweat ate right through it <laughs> i don't know i don't know if that's what happened but it's gonna be sweet it's gonna be sweet i'm assuming we can put like you know the primer once we do all the body work fix all the dents and everything then you then you hit it with uh the filler primer i guess and that fills in a lot of the little scratches and stuff and then uh, I guess you can use like a top coat or whatever if you need to. I don't know if we need to on this project, but yeah, there's a lot going on guys. Stay tuned. I appreciate the support. Let me know what you think about the new channel uh, idea, the daily uploads on the new channel and keeping this channel to uh, one or two videos a week. Um, there's a lot to share. There's a lot of information I could use from you guys, and that would be a great way to do it. So comment below. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. I'm out here at the farm shop. Um, and uh, if you're watching this, it's probably Sunday or maybe later in the week. But hey, guys, it's CT out in the farm shop not the farm shop i used to say he got ct on the garage but i'm out in the farm hey guys what's up ct in the shop <laughs> it's ct out in the farm farm shop <laughs>